Welcome to the next in our series of Cities of the Bible. The first city we're looking at today is the city of Philippi. Philippi, known originally as Crenides, meaning wells or springs, was named after Philip II, father of the Greek conqueror Alexander the Great. This city of the Roman province of Macedonia was strategically located on the Ignatian Way, the main overland route between Asia and the West, making it an important bridge in the early spread of the Gospel. The ruins of the city bear the marks of a rich Roman history, including an agora, or marketplace, where trade took place, and the Western Arch, or the Gate of the City, described in Acts chapter 16 and verse 13. The Agora was an important discovery with its seat of judgment, library and adjacent jail site, possibly the very place where Paul and Silas were imprisoned, Acts chapter 16 verse 23 to 40. Paul founded the church at Philippi in the early 50s, as the first church on European soil. Soon after he and Silas entered the city, they met with a group of women for prayer outside the city gate. This indicates that the city did not have a large Jewish population, since they generally preached at the local synagogue if one was available. When Paul and Silas removed a spirit from a slave girl, her angry owners took them to court. Beaten and jailed, they prayed and sang until an earthquake shook the jail during the night. The next day, the magistrates were alarmed to discover that Paul and Silas were Roman citizens and should not have been beaten or jailed without a fair trial. Lydia, a businesswoman, became the first Christian convert in all of Europe, through the witness of Paul and Silas at Philippi, Acts 16, verses 12 to 15, and verse 40. Because of the influence of the church in this city, the way was opened for the gospel to spread to the rest of Europe, and it all began with a women's prayer group. The second city is the city of Pergamos. Pergamos, or Pergamum, was a city in northwest Asia Minor, where one of the seven churches addressed by the Apostle John in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 2 and verses 12 to 17, where it was located. The city was a center of Greek culture for many years. Its magnificent library contained more than 200,000 volumes. Parchment, a superior writing material, was developed and manufactured at Pergamos. John issued the church at Pergamos a stern warning against compromise with evil. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 16. As capital of the Roman province of Asia, the city became the first site where the cult of emperor worship was practiced beginning in 29 BC. This shameful distinction may have caused John to identify Pergamos as the site where Satan's throne is, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 13. Refusal to burn incense before the Roman emperor's statue brought charges of disloyalty and possibly death. Antipas, a Christian leader, was martyred, perhaps for his refusal to worship the emperor. Revelation 2 and verse 13. Pergamos was also a centre of other types of idolatry and pagan worship. The city featured temples dedicated to worship of the chief pagan god Zeus and to Asepolis, the Greco-Roman god of healing. The Christian community in Pergamos was too tolerant of evil. 
Some church teachers apparently advised Christians to participate in immoral sexual practices as well as pagan worship. Revelation 2, 14-15 John commanded on behalf of the Lord, Repent therefore, or else I am coming to you quickly, and I will make war against them with the sword of my mouth. Revelation 2 and verse 16 Choice spiritual blessings were promised to those Christians who were faithful witnesses. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 17 The Pergamos of New Testament times has disappeared. Although the site is occupied today by the town of Bergama in modern Turkey. Excavation of the old city has uncovered the ruins of the temple where the Roman emperor was worshipped, and also the huge temple of Zeus. Thanks very much.